Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24 seven. This is a let's make video and what we're making today is we are making this really fun little um, calendar photo album. <laughs> this is uh, from uh, Create 10 class three of oh, the calendar class. And uh, this is basically my version. And uh, what I wanted to make was um, rather than having something that I felt like um, I couldn't do anything else with, uh, at the end of the year and it being so pretty, I wouldn't really want to throw it away, but then I wouldn't be inclined to keep it either. Um, I decided to turn my calendar into a, uh, a photo journal calendar. And so I bound mine at the top, um, added some clear panels to the front and to the back to have a little bit of protection and then used the cardstock that came in the class. Um, and instead of making an easel for each of the pages, I ended up using it to create a cover and an integrated stand to turn my calendar into a um, photo album as well. So the idea is that you would, um, it's a magnetic one, it's a magnetic stand base or cover. Um, you would turn your calendar, you know, start at the beginning of the year, you would write all of your um, special things that you did throughout the month on there. And then at the end of the month, or at the end of the year, you could uh, journal uh, about the month on the calendar, the actual calendar page, um, whether on the lines of the calendar, or you can add a journal card, and a photo, and then you would add a collage, a photo collage up there with some captions um, or titles uh, for what was happening in the event or events, uh, for that matter, uh, for each of the months. And you you wouldn't have to do it every month, but then you could do it at the end of the year if you wanted to. And just take a look back at all the different little things that you had done. Print those photos out. Um, it was This calendar was designed to, be, uh, to go with like an Instaprint. Um, that you Bluetooth hook up to your phone because everyone takes a gazillion photos on their phone. And then who actually goes and takes the time to print them out unless you need them for something specific. Um, and so if you get a one of those little Canon or Kodak Instaprint printers that print out the little two by three, they, they have adhesive backs. So it's like super quick. You leave the printer in your desk um, you could have, you could create a pocket even on the cover of this with, um, journaling cards that held the actual journaling cards with adhesive on them, uh, on the backs of them. And so at the end of the month, you could then, um, pop out a journaling card, write on it, stick it down, print some photos to your little Insta printer and um, pop them on here because they have adhesive backs. And then at the end of the year, it would be really fun. You could go back and flip through each of the different months and see how fun and uh, or productive your year was. Because, the, I mean, look at how gorgeous those pages are. Um, I didn't want to just throw it out. This is like, it's like a really beautiful album. It's like gold foiled and everything. And... Um, took the time to make it and stuff. And so I was like, wow, this this would just be an absolutely beautiful album. And so that was the intention of um, my, my calendar album. <laughs> and uh, calendar journal album, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I'm, I guess calendar album is what I'm calling it. And um, thought it would just be a fun way to have the calendar do a uh, double duty. So this is what we're recreating today. So basically, um, since I already used my front cover um cuz you and my calendar that was already pre-printed for 2025 uh i'm not actually going to i'm not actually going to do a 2025 calendar uh i'm going to do a blank calendar so that way i can leave this one open to interpretation for whatever I, you know i get a hankering to do and um just wanted to show you how it was made this one i'm also going to show you some other things that you can do um like adding pages and stuff because I have the faded rose collection um that was from the last create class the crop at home was it crop at home what what was that one anyways the one the create the create event that had the faded rose in it I think it was the last scrapbooking one um I pulled that out to create a cover for this and as I was doing that I was like oh my goodness I could actually just pop some pages in here 
uh, like quarterly. So you had extra space to add more photos if you wanted to and thought that would be really fun. So if you're just using the calendar and what's in the kit, you're going to get the one that's printed with the 2025. You're going to also get out your 2025 calendar um, year, uh, year in review uh, page because that's going to be your title page. And then... Um, and then you're also going to get out. So you're going to need, uh, so you're going to need that. You're going to need your, uh, 12 calendar pages. And then what I did was, is out of my faded rose collection, um, I'm using, uh, some of the paper and this is actually going to be my cover. Yeah, that's going to be my cover. Yeah. I want mine to go like that. That's going to be my cover. And then I have my two seven by seven, um, clear cardstock or acetate panels one is going to go on the front and then one is going to go on the back but actually we're not ready for the back yet and then if you wanted to um make yours and you have the faded rose uh collection i just cut three uh extra pages um that were seven by seven uh to just randomly pop in the calendar so i was thinking that i could go let's go january uh, February, March, uh, pop a page in so I could have more photos. So basically you're going to go, so you're going to go, this is March. And when you, when you flip it up, so you're going to, you're going to have March here, faded rose there. You're going to flip that up and you're going to end up with an extra page. Um, so you can actually collage more photos here and then flip that up. And then at the end of the month, you could, um, you could then put more photos here and, and journal about it. Um, you could pop these pages in where, you know, like if you are, if you have like a vacation planned or whatever, you could actually pop these on like a summer, summer vacation. You have like special Christmas plans, Easter, whatever. You could actually pop these pages coordinating with those months if you wanted to just as a little side, uh, something else to do, uh, so something you could do. Um, and so I was going to do that. So that was March. So April, May, June, I'm just doing it quarterly. Um, so this is going to be the next one. I think I like it like that. June. Uh, so July, August, September. So then here, um, we like this how do we like this actually we should go this way how is it which way is up hmm i think maybe this is up i'm not sure if it's upside down it's all right too okay and so then that's a quarter and then so um october november and then december that's the end of the calendar and so then uh oh but actually it's not the end of the calendar <laughs> because technically so this is my front and so then technically I also have to integrate these two pieces now for doing the base of the calendar you definitely want to use the cardstock that's in the calendar class and primarily because the GSM is off the charts like that is solid and sturdy it's 300 GSM plus this is really nice whereas the other the other from the faded rose, it's it's not that weight at all. Um, maybe a hundred pound. Uh, I don't know what the GSM comes out to. Um, two hundred maybe. Definitely not three hundred. So there is that. You want to be mindful. So I'm using these as my base, and this came out of the calendar kit from Create Ten. So what you want to do with this is to make the base. You want to cut it down to seven wide by nine and a half inch tall seven wide by nine and a half inch tall and I need my paper trimmer hang on okay so seven wide by nine and a half inches tall and now you have to figure out what you want to see so I think I want more flowers on mine so I'm going to turn mine this way and I'm going to put it at seven. Oh no that's a lighter from Bazell um we need we're going tall so sorry about that no we need nine and a half inches so you want to go down to nine and a half inches and that's what we're going to see sorry about that Phew. 
I almost had a party foul. Oh, and I don't have any more of this thick paper. Um. Okay, and now seven wide. Seven wide, nine and a half tall. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's seven. And, okay, so that's what you're going to get. Okay, so let's do that again. So nine and a half, nine and a half. by seven tall or seven wide Ugh, nine and a half tall seven wide oh my good night i think i'm tired it's been a long day <laughs> but i'm still trying to get these videos because <laughs> i told you that i you know i had mentioned that i would try to put them out so um we are busy wow from now till uh after thanksgiving it it's just gung-ho and then i got family coming i am so excited about that for thanksgiving that is gonna be a hoot a little hoot nanny. That is going to be so stinking fun. And um, so I'm also trying to uh, prep for that because that is going to be, it's going to be a blast. Like, can you believe Thanksgiving is like right around the corner? Gosh, it's like, um, so you want to do um, from the bottom. So this is going to be, that's the top. So from the bottom, you want to score up two inches on the nine and a half inch side. On the nine and a half inch side. At the bottom, from the bottom, so you're going to score up on the nine and a half inch side, score up from the bottom, um, two. So the top of it's going to be seven and a half inches. And if you need to get the end because you have a baby scoreboard, fl just flip it over. So two inches, score two inches up from the bottom on the nine and a half inch side, okay? And you're going to do that on both pieces. And this is what creates the base. That is it. Is that the bottom? Wait. Wait. Yeah, it goes like that. Okay. From the bottom, score two inches on the nine and a half inch side. I'm just flipping it over so that way I can get it um, all the way down. Okay. And then you're just going to fold that in. Okay. And then what you need is you need two pieces of this same cardstock. So grab these two pieces here and you need these to be uh seven inches wide seven inches by two inches and they're gonna cover up your magnets okay so these so save these pieces that you cut off and you need to make these your seven Oh, shoot, this doesn't have seven. Darn it. I gotta get the big trimmer back out. I put it away and I forgot I still needed it. All right. Didn't, these, didn't all these projects from Create come out so amazing? What did, did we actually end up with two? Ah, two and a half. We were close. Now, I'm gonna cut mine down like a smidgen less than two inches. So, like, one and like 15 sixteenths <laughs> or like seven eighths <laughs> seven eighths might be too narrow but it won't be that won't be a big deal if you put it on the inside um so here so let's go seven wide oh and we could keep the butterfly oh my gosh how sweet okay so seven wide by a smidge less than two inches Oh, please say we get to keep the butterfly. Where's where's my butterfly? Oh, right there. Oh, yeah, we get to keep the butterfly. I'm going just a smidge. And basically what it is, is this piece is going to go right here. It's going to cover up the um, magnets. So that way it all looks pretty. And look at that. You could technically just do this and it would all blend in like it's all that way but i thought it would be really fun to have it reversed and you would get that extra bit of you know uh fun on the inside as well so i'm gonna do the same look i still get the butterfly so let's go seven um by just a smidge less than uh two inches a smidge a skosh a teeny weeny bit less than two boom what do we think about that guy? Yes, we 
are loving it. Yep, perfect. Okay, so now take this one and um, fold it as well with the two inch, making sure your lines are your sides are lined up, and it looks amazing. So that's our that's our cover there, and these two as well. So now what you want to do is you need to punch your pages. I'm using a I'm using a one inch uh, binding. Um, yeah, I'm using a one inch black binding. You can get these on um, for the We Are Memory Keepers. Um, you can get these on scrapbook.com. Uh, they come in a multitude of colors. I'm just getting black or I'm just using black. And so I'm going to use my big one since I'm, I'm doing a one inch uh, binding, a uh, wire binding. Um, I have to use the big one. So, um, if you're using your multi cinch, you'll have to do five eighths and you could still do it with this. If you have the multi cinch at the, on the five eighths, you just don't want to put as many, like you don't want to put the extra pages and you just want to do the calendar page and you would probably have enough room, uh, to be able to add your photos in and it wouldn't be too, like, it wouldn't be too bulky for your five eighths inch binding. I think it would actually work out just fine. Um, so Let's see. So now we have to make sure where. Um, so now what you're going to do is you are going to make sure everybody's in uh, your little um, their little punches up. Everybody's in. This is all the way in. And we're going to punch all of our pages and we're going to punch our our uh, covers. OK, so. Yeah, now you want to. So this is where actually we want to put our. Um, we want to put our pages together. So now, so what we're going to do is we can put a title on this one, right? So we're going to pop our clear on top of this, which then in turn goes on top of the folding cover. Okay. Which then goes on top of, and you could even put another cover there if you wanted to like another page here, but this is where I'm actually putting, um, I'm putting all the calendar pages plus the inserts I have. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to add your back cover, right? And so this is what your album is actually going to look like. So this is the outside, right? Um, and technically, actually, you could have. And so then. And so then. Oh, technically, the outside one, you actually. These should have been seven and a half long by seven wide. So should this cover have been. Should have been seven by seven and a half. Um, because, yeah, otherwise this the cover is actually too short. And so are these clear cardstocks are too short as well. Oh, Barfignugan. Am I going to let that bother me? That's what I have to ask myself. Technically, you guys, it should be all the way down here. But it actually looks really pretty that way. The only thing that is kind of janky is the fact that the cardstock only goes to here. But is it? Yeah, because if you're picking it up or whatnot, yeah, you definitely want the clear all the way down. And I think this would look better if it was all the way down. So when it was sitting on the table, um, yeah, I think I should change this. So hang on one second. Hang on one second. Let me fix my two clear cardstock panels. Sorry about that. If you are following along, I'm really sorry. Um, I did. I just. I didn't think about it. Um, because I. I did it on this one, and I'm actually altering the dimensions just a tad, uh, to make it nicer. Um. So see, cause like this one, this was a quarter. Um, this is seven and a quarter. And uh, so you don't have as big of a gap, but I noticed that when uh, the pages were hanging in it, that it didn't have very much room uh, to be able to settle, to settle and sit on the binding. So I thought it would actually be much nicer to be able to hang on the actual cover. Um, and so that's what I ended up changing. Um, yeah. So now I have to change the cover. I didn't think about that. Well, do I want to do that? No. You know what? I'm just going to proceed. I think it's going to be just fine. 
I already got it cut out. I think I'm just going to go with it. Oh, heck with it. Okay, so now I make sure my cover's on the back. Okay, so now everything is in order, right? I got everything in order. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to start punching. And so I'm just going to take my whole stack and make sure I keep it all in order. And um, you're going to... I'm just going to do the one cover by itself because this stuff's pretty thick. This sheet's pretty thick. It did it beautifully. Uh, but I think that um, I can still do one more there. And so I'm just going to slide this out until this hits the second one. Oops. Um, pop the pin in that second one. And then um, I'm going to look down here. And I'm going to make sure that this one is going to punch fully where the edge of my cardstock is. And as I'm looking at it, it's not. So what I want to do is I want to pull it out. And if you're using the multi-cinch, you want to use whatever it says the the whole like because it's a whole number whatever the whole increment is on the square um that's the guide that you want to use okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and punch that lift that up and see oh yeah see that worked perfect okay so that's the first page and so now i'm going to slide it all the way back in push this in and now i'm going to punch i could probably punch a few of these at once um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and uh, I'm going to go back and punch the last one all at the same time. And so I'm just going to keep these all in order. And keep them in order. Um, and this is the, um, we are memory keepers and this is what it looks like when it's punched. It's going to be below that double gold line, but it still looks really nice. Um, and, uh, I wonder if it'll do this one. <laughs> I did. It's clean. So I'm doing like three pages. Uh, this is four. I don't know if I want to do four. I'm going to do three. These are really thick. So... I'm just making sure that they're all lined up. Yeah, I'm just making sure that they're all lined up. And um, I wasn't sure which way I was going. <laughs> I'm like, oh, make sure you stay in order. I don't know what order I'm in. <laughs> That's right, I'm flipping them over so they stay, they stay in proper order. <laughs> And, oh, whoops. Okay, and then this has the, the uh, clear one as well. And I'm going to go ahead and see if that works or not. Oh, yeah, that worked perfect. Okay, and now... Now I need to go back and punch these. So I'm going to line it up with that second to last hole. And then... Oops. Make sure this... Oh, that, that actually works perfect. Um, pull the second one out. If you're using the big... Uh, this is a... We Are Memory Keeper Square Cinch Tool is what I'm using. So I'm going to pull the second one out. Make sure my papers are all square. It's to the back. And punch. Lift. And then, yeah, that did great. So there again. Um, let put my Line my pin up. Make sure it's all the way to the back. Pop the pin and proceed. Oh, that was a little bit off. It'll be fine, though. Don't worry. Uh, we'll just do three. Yeah, make sure it's all the way to the back. All the way to the back. All the way to lined up. Oh, yeah, that looks great. It goes this way, right? 
Oh yeah, that goes that way. Perfect. I have to remember to flip it like a page. <laughs> Line up the hole. Um, make sure everything's pushed to the back. Pop that up. Flip it over. Um, line this up. Push the pen in. Make sure it's all the way to the back. Pop the pen. Flip it over. All right, we're almost done. This is like, we're cruising, man. We are cruising. Put put the pin in. Make sure everybody's to the back. And press. Punch. Cool. That is sweet. Okay, now I'm going to do both of these at the same time. That's the back cover as well. Line up the pin. Push everybody to the back. And punch. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, so everybody is in. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, look at that. Everything lined up. Like, that looks great. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to grab our binding. Um, These big ones line up on here like so. And what you want to do with this, though, is, is you actually do want to take your two covers, the clear one and the um, magnetic one, and flip it to the front. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put these on the binding. And because they line up, it's pretty simple. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to cut this where it this one doesn't have a hole. So you're going to cut that off there. Uh, in the back, like so, like that. That's what you're going to do there. And then we're going to bind these. Whoa, whoa, don't twist out. And so basically, um, this seemed like it worked really well. So I'm making sure that I have all my, uh, all my wire bindings under this crimper and that it is straight because like there's a, this is flat on the back. You want to make sure that that's straight up and down when it's in here and it's pressed all the way to the back, back here, before you crimp. This, I have this set to three quarter, and that's so that way I get really good crimping that these crimp all the way in between. These come together all the way in between really good. I, um, And that's so that way the pages don't want to come out. And so... um. So I've got, that's why I've got that set on like between three quarter and seven eighths. Um, so I get a really good crimp because when you crimp them down, they kind of want to like spring back a little. And so, yeah. And so then once you have this set where you want it, um, you could even do it to where, uh, like if you're not sure, like if you want it, um, you just push this knob down and turn it and it raises this. And so I'll, I'll go to like just, just below one inch, like seven eighths this is probably like 15 sixteenths is where i'm actually at um and so i'll try that first and then let's you just push this handle all the way down making sure it's secure in there straight up and down and then you can see do you nope not a big fan of that so this must actually have been a three quarter inch binding not a one inch sorry sorry about my misinformation which would be why i had it all the way at like Uh, between seven eighths and three quarter. Oh yeah, that's getting there. I think I still want it to go a little more. Mm, that might be too far. Just go little increments, little increments, and push it all the way down. Uh, almost there. A little bit more. So it's probably a three quarter binding. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably a three. Oh, that might be a little bit much, but I'm happy with that. Uh, what that looks like. Um, so I'm 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 really liking that. I'm not gonna redo that. I think that looks good. So I probably have a three quarter binding, is what it is, instead of a five eighths. So yeah, which is just fine to me. Um, this will be really cool. I thought they were one inch, but apparently they're not. Okay, so now you're gonna flip your cover back over. This is the back. Um, you're gonna flip flip the back back cover over, 
and uh, we can we're done with this tool now um and uh you need your two pieces here you need these two pieces here and you need your magnets what i'm using is is i'm using uh magnetic discs uh you get these on scrapbook.com um amazon wherever and you need eight of these uh what you want to do is you want to um you're going to put the magnets, uh, so fold these over onto each other, and then you're going to open it, and your magnets are going to go, um, your magnets are going to go on the inside, on the inside to be hidden, so down here. So flip it over and put them on the inside, okay? Um, and you're going to want to get all positives, because you need eight of these, so you want to get four plus or four minus or you need only four right now and uh, we're gonna get one two oh i think that was yeah three four uh two make sure they're pluses so pluses okay so now what you want to do is you want to let's grab some uh score tape um because even those those even though those are adhesive, we're still gonna have to put the top on. Um, so what you want you're just gonna just you just eyeball it into the center and press down. Uh put these all down. Um right in the center of that two inch strip that you scored is where you're putting these. If you could line them up straight, they'd probably look nicer <laughs> in the end. <laughs> okay, and now what you want to do is you want to put score tape over the top of this. Uh, actually, I'm going to do a score tape on each side of it. Still on that two inch space, a uh, scored piece. I'm going to, yeah, do score tape on each side. And glue on the top, actually, on the top of the magnets is what I'm actually going to do. And uh, we're going to adhere this flap. When you open it, you want to make sure you're, it's directional. And I think it, I'm going to do mine like this. So I'm going to grab some glue. I'm going to peel the backer off the score tape. Oops. Come on, little fella. Oh man, wasn't Create 10 so stinking fun? Wow, that was fun. Uh, hopefully you guys all had a really good time as well. Oh man, I had so much fun. I was so tired afterwards though. Uh, yeah, I slept so good. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to line this up. And what I'm going to do to get make sure this is lined up, I'm going to make it at a, a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to put this down in right into the um right into that night that uh, corner there making sure i'm lined up on both edges and then i'm gonna fold it up to itself uh like this and i'm gonna press and then fold it down onto the table and then i'm just gonna make sure burners the heck out of this and make sure it is nice and adhered okay All right, first flap done. Okay, so this is, what is this? This is my front. And so this, I want this one to be on the outside, like when it's being displayed. I, I, want, I want it to sit like this. And so there's no seam there. And so where I want to put my magnets now is I want my magnets to be on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put put my negatives I'm going to pop my negatives on. Whoops. So get the four negatives. And just let them go to their little companions. Wherever their little companions are. That's what you're going to do. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and you're going to peel the backers off. Of your little magnets. Peel the backers off the magnets. Whoops. 
Okay. And now what you're wanting to do is you're going to use that adhesive and you're going to stick these magnets on where you want them. So just kind of make sure they're where they want to live. And let's see, what did we say? So this, this one is going to go over this one because this is the front panel. And you're just going to make this at a 90 degree angle, right? You're going to put it, put it down, down into the, down into the angle like so. And you're just going to fold this, make sure the edges are lined up and then fold it onto this, fold it onto the piece, right? Press it. And then your magnet should be stuck there, right? Right? Isn't that great? Okay. So now you want to press these down really good and you want to put score tape on this side and put this panel on now. And you could swap it if you want so it's different. And that would be really fun as well. Um, or you could keep it the same. It's whatever you want to do. And I think I want my butterfly to be out. So I'm going to go like that. And uh, if it's directional, you want to make sure that your pattern is in the same direction as your other pattern. So I'm going to pop score tape. Still on that two inch piece down here. That we uh, scored. And then pop glue on top of the magnets. And all over the score tape too. It's like this. Make sure the score tape's on the flap there. Put a plenty of adhesive here because you're wanting this to be an album and last for a long time. Um, so you want to make sure you have plenty of adhesive and um, to the edges if you can. You don't want it to squish out, but um, you also want to make sure it's going to stay too. Okay, and now this one, I'm going to line this one up. Um, I'm going to put this at a 90. As I get glue all over my hands and my sleeve on my pen, <laughs> I'm going to line this up at the bottom, line it up at the edges, and hope for the best with the camera in the way. <laughs> uh, let's see, is that? I think that's good. Oh, no. Nope. Did you see that shift? Did you guys see that shift? Did you see that? And if it shifts, it's not gonna it's not gonna sit straight square to the other piece. You want to make sure that this edge is square. Um, so that way it sits square to the other piece. And then you just want to burnish the heck out of it. Let's actually, before we get too far into the burnishing, um, make sure that it's also gonna be good to go here. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, but this is the front, so. Oh yeah, that's that's rock rock star right there, right? Isn't that great? That's why I made the changes in the numbers because it was gonna sit better on the table for you. Um, but let's which one? It was this one. So be sure to burnish it down really good. You want that to stick. Uh, you really want that score tape to really stick there. Um, so it lasts a long time. Okay, and then once you have that burnished down, you are golden. That is it. And now you just decorate. That's, I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Make sure your covers are on their rights uh, where you want them. And yeah, and then there you go. That's, that's the, that's the way of it. And then, um, so then this will flip over to display it. And then it's going to flip back like this uh, on the table. Uh, and you can fold those back and forth, you know, so they, they like look really nice and stuff. Um, and then this is just going to, every month, it's just going to flip over. Oh, wait. I think my, um, I have to, I have to help this. <laughs> it's a little bit grouchy. Uh, because I didn't fold it back on itself, so it was, like, not happy. I was just willy-nilly. So, yeah, so you're just going to flip through, and then, oh, yeah, here's a month. Look at that. It's extra page. You can put extra pictures. And then extra pictures back there, right? Won't that be a hoot? And then, um, and then, you, yeah, this is big enough. So this is actually a three quarter inch binding. Um, you can actually keep a pen. These I got off of Amazon. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the calendar. And, uh, so get your faded rose. Okay. Make sure you flip that back when it goes back to being, um, and that actually doesn't look bad. What happens though with this is you want to make sure the card, the, at least the clear is as long as this is. 
excuse me, so that this edge can be as protected as possible because you're picking it up by this. You know, you're carrying it around, um, like showing people and displaying it or whatever. Display it is not a big deal, but um, if you're wanting someone to flip through it and this to stay nice, it's better if it goes all the way to the edge. So you want this to be seven and a half. Um, so it goes to that edge there and uh, displays nice. Um, at least the clear. If you like that contrast, you could leave the front cover at seven by seven. But if you want it all to be the same, you want seven and a half by seven. Um, so you want the same length. So these cover cardstocks uh, we said were, um, these are nine and a half by, uh, let's see. These are nine and a half by seven, by seven. And on the bottom, you're scoring up two inches so it gives you a two inch stand for it to oh wait for it to stand on and it gives you a seven and a, a seven and a half by seven a base for the calendar to hang on and be nice and sturdy and i found that this gsm cardstock worked really nice now are you going to have it be sitting on your table for years and years and years no but will it last a year most definitely it'll be just fine and you'll be able to embellish it and do all the things it might be a little precarious towards the end of the month if you've added photos and all of that to it um, because it's getting so full um i would think it would actually make it help it but it, it might not be it might be by december like where's the last month here uh november oh yeah december it you know, depending on how much is on hanging on the back, I I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't got there yet. This was definitely a trial uh, item, and so and it and it helped me not have to have something like really bulky um, and two pieces on my desk. Um, I was trying to just have a single item on my desk, so there is that. But that's how I made it. I adjusted it. If you want it to be exactly like this one, I think this base is sturdier because it's wider and it's taller. So it can actually hang on the stand, which is the base. Um, it can actually hang on it really well. Um, but if you wanted it to be exactly like mine, this, I did this at seven, um, seven wide by, um, this is nine. Oh, whoops. This one is nine, nine. This one's seven by nine inches tall. And I scored this flap at an inch and three quarters. So it has an inch and three quarter base. And then you only end up with like a quarter of an inch um, for, uh, yeah, a quarter of an inch for the pages to hang on. And it works. It works well. But... I think it could use a little bit more room uh, to really make it want to uh, be very stable. And that's so that's why I did it um, instead. I did it this way with the uh, two inch, a full two inch uh, base down here and it to be able to hang, uh, to hang on it here. And so then you're going to be flipping these. Um, you're going to end up flipping these. Uh, like this but it's still I mean look how sturdy it's not even trying to fall down where's that one it you have to like it's once you get it situated it's sturdy like it's really sturdy on the table um it's like nice and stable on the table um this way but when it's open to the cover or like sitting there with the cover it it you have to like situate the pages so that's why I did this one because this one was nice and stout and no problem standing and stuff. So I thought it was going to be super, super sturdy. But um, if you're not happy, like if you think that this isn't going to be enough, this 300 GSM, you can always add um, another layer of cardstock to this as well. Um, you can actually, if you have the faded uh, rose collection, you could technically um, put a piece on here you could actually put a piece on here to make this even more uh stout like i mean good night whether you doubled this one up or you just added a piece a piece from the faded rose onto here it would that would make it like crazy sturdy 
and you would have literally have no problems, but I thought this was stable enough, so um, that's why I did it this way. And uh, yeah, I am loving it. I'm loving that at the end of the year, I'm going to have a really fun uh, keepsake. And then um, I'll be able to look back on it and it'll be just a, a great photo album. I, I'll be able to display it and be able to get multiple. Um, I'll be able to get more use out of it and um, see what I mean. So like basically what I have to do is I have to like fiddle with the pages just on the cover, like when it's flipped over on the actual calendar pages, and I'm not sure why that is. Um, but when it's on the calendar pages, um, when it's on the calendar pages, it's actually totally fine. Um, uh, this way, this one's actually, this one's super sturdy when it's like this. Like, there is like no... Um, it, it doesn't, like, want to fall at all. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with it the other way. But this one, either way you go, it is a happy camper. And, um, yeah, much, much better with the, um, much better with that. And then you can flip all the pages. But there it is. Now you just have to decorate, uh, do what you want to do. I might actually take this binding off and add some more pages to this and just turn this into an album. <laughs> I think that might be really fun. Um, so to do that, all I'm going to do is just punch more pretty papers, add them in here and there, and then use these as journaling pages. And um, yeah, just like a journal. Uh, I think it would be a hoot. Um, add photos, collage, whatever I want to do there. And it'll, it'll be really, really fun. So there is that. All right. Let me know what you guys think of the tutorial down in the comments. I hope you guys have a terrific week. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.